What is up guys, it is Game Storms here, bringing you some more Gears of War or Call of Duty, whatever I plan on putting in the background, because today is not about the gameplay, it is about a little something I just wanted to talk about. Um, when it comes to the, this time of the year, Christmas time, so I don't know about you guys, but leave in the comments down below if you're exactly like me, if you work and you don't have like, I don't have like responsibilities that I as big of responsibilities as other people like I don't have a tons of bills to pay and stuff like I still live at home but I have a job a, a decent job and so when it comes to this time of year I just seem to go on a spending spree and so leave in the comments down below if that you do this too when it comes to this time of the year it's like I don't know why but when it comes to this time of the year it happened this year and happened last year I go on like this big spending spree where I spend like a shit ton of money within this month. I guess it's like the sales. I see all the sales and I'm like, oh dude, I gotta get this. And plus at this time of year, there's like stuff that's out that usually isn't out and everything. They have special limited edition stuff that's out and everything. So I just go crazy with spending and I don't know when to stop and then it's bad. I mean, I'm not draining my savings or anything, but every paycheck I get, I, I'm just spending it right away. So, it's kind of a bad thing, and I don't know, but I enjoy it. I, like, I get all this nice-ass stuff that I can buy that I want and everything and don't have to worry about people having to get it for me and, because really it's kind of hard to explain all the stuff that I get for people to buy me and shit. So, for Christmas, I just get money. But, so, leave in the comments if you just go on spending sprees, so... With, in this month, last year, I um, bought my PC, my, my desktop, my monitor, all my stuff for YouTube, capture card, mic, this and that, this and that, um, editing software, and all of that. So it's last year, and around this time, I spent probably $1,500 on everything, including games and stuff, which is a lot of money. And this year, I went and did the exact same thing. I went and spent about... Fifteen hundred to sixteen hundred dollars in this past two weeks. It's only been in this past two weeks that I spent. And I mean, some may call the stuff not worth buying, which it probably isn't worth buying. But to me, I I like it, and I want to collect the stuff and all that. So like, I've been getting the pop figures. You know, I I've been wanting pop figures for a while, but I I just didn't go out and buy them. And with all the sales now, so it's like buy three get a free one or buy two get 175 percent off and all this so i've been buying a lot of pop figures which is nice and i'm getting all these ones that i want like the ones that they weren't out before but now they're out they're anime stuff like they're sort of online ones there's naruto ones soul eater um black butler it, like there's a lot of cool ones out now and I'm getting them. Plus, they came out with the Disney ones for like The Lion King and Toy Story, which those were my favorite movies as a kid. So I got those, of course. Now, some of them I can't get because I'm not spending $30 or more on a pop figure. Like, that's not happening just because of how rare it is. So I'm not, I won't be doing that stuff. But I probably spent $200 at least, more than that, on pop figures. I probably bought almost 30 pop figures this month so that's kind of been a money thing right there but I bought a display a display case to put any stuff that I have collectibles in so I could stop it from collecting all this dust and all that but I can't wait for that to come that's gonna come very soon and I'll be putting that up it's supposed to be like a freaking hundred hundred pound display case so it's going to be a little pain in the ass. It's got to take two people to build. And hopefully I, we don't break it in the process of building it. Because it is complete glass. And the big, the big thing that I bought that I... Let's see. not Well, it was yesterday I bought this item. But two days prior, or it might have been a day prior, I spent $600 buying stuff on the internet to get shipped to my house. And... After that, I was like, okay, I got to stop spending. I just spent my whole paycheck that I got. I need to stop spending. Um, I can't spend until February when new games come out. 
Well, long behold, I go on Facebook yesterday, and there's this big thing for GameStop on there saying, get all three consoles <coughs> for less than $600. I'm like, what? No, -uh, you gotta be kidding me. So, I read in the com I read the comments for the post, and it's like it's an o it's an online only purchase. So I go on GameStop and go to the consoles, and there it is for 570 bucks. You can get the Xbox One, PS4, and the Wii U. They're refurbished, but still 190 dollars for each console is a bit ridiculous, right? So I was like, oh come on, I. Uh, I was like fighting myself. I was like, do I really need those consoles? Do I not? Like I already have my Xbox one and I came to the conclusion that yes, I have to get them just because it is such a low price for all of them and The main focus that made me want to get it is that my boy Omar um, He was supposed to be getting his Xbox one for Christmas and his parents said that they couldn't get it for him and I was like damn and I know that was the only fucking thing he wanted for Christmas, like, really badly, was that Xbox One. So I was like, fuck it, I'll get the consoles. Because I'll have my, I'll have a PS4 and a Wii U now, so there are several games on those consoles that I actually want to play. And since I already have an Xbox One, I can give it to him for Christmas. And that, c he can have his Xbox One, he just gotta get a couple games. And then I'm gonna license transfer so that he has all my digital downloads which is about five or six games so I set him up for Christmas but he's my boy he's been there when I needed somebody to be there the most and he was the only one that was there so he needs some he needs some payback I think he deserves it and plus anyway he was worried about paying me back for it and I told him with the price that I'm getting the other two consoles I he is paying me back the, the amount of money I'm saving is astronomical because it's like eight hundred dollars for all of them refurbished, and it's only five seventy now. So they drop, they they dock two fifty off. I know that. So that's what I've been doing this month is blowing money, and I don't know how to stop blowing money, but I should be done now. Christmas is a day away, and if you guys are like me or you know somebody who's like me that just when it comes to Christmas time, they just start spending money because they just want all this stuff, all this stuff that's not out and it's so cool and they want to have and just collect and all that. Um, please leave in the comments down below and if you are the person that actually like does this, go ahead and tell me what you bought. Like I said, I bought like 30 pop figures. I bought a little like wooden poster for Dragon Ball Z. Got my three consoles, a display case. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. And a few other things, I think. I've got a couple of t-shirts. I don't really get t-shirts because I have enough. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to my little talk of the holidays and sales. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.